Hello all. In this class, we talk about the concept of inverse Laplace transform. So today we discuss about inverse Laplace transform. This is very important to convert any Laplace domain signal to time domain signal or any other domain because we know that signal is a physical quantity which varies with time or any other medium say x y any any one z so signal can be represented any one of the following independent by using independent parameter by this independent parameter okay so now first our objective is that to remember some fundamental laplace transform formula say for example what is a laplace transform e to the power minus at yes e to the power s plus a what is the laplace transform of unit step function yes right 1 by s what is the Laplace transform of 1? This is also 1 by S. What is the Laplace transform of ut minus t? You are right. u to the power minus st by s. Yes. Yes. Because this is a time shifting. So there is one exponential one exponential term is coming here. That's why. Okay. And uh, what is the Laplace transform of delta function? That is equal to 1. So these basic functions are very useful. So there are different types of method by which we convert Laplace domain to time domain. One of the famous rule is that partial fraction method. Partial fraction method is very common. This method is used to convert Laplace to time domain. For example, one Laplace function say a is equal to one divided by a is into s minus a. This is an Laplacian domain. So convert in in the FT domain. That means in a time domain. So what we'll do? So first of all, this is our Laplacian function. So using partial fraction method, we divide in two individual term a divided by s plus b divided by s plus a. So now we multiply in the both side using s because in the denominator the term is s. So in the both side at first this equation one say consider so multiplying by s okay and put a is equal to 0 because there is a no constant term with s so the a is equal to 0 so that's why the value of a equal to 1 minus a please note down because this is very important okay and second one we divide in the both side by s by s minus a so this is 1 by s this is minus a by s this is b and putting a is equal to yeah a so what is the value of b b is equal to 1 by a so now right here 1 divided by s into s minus a that is equal to that is equal to minus 1 by a what 1 by s plus 1 by a to the power minus s by a okay so what is the laplace transform this is one because one by s we know that from here one by s is a laplace transform in step or one anyone anyone and what is the laplace transform this is to the power 80 but this is not uh, this is not uh, practically possible cases and also theoretically because e to the power 80 is a function look like a that this is a function e to the power 80 this is the function so this is not a time bounded function okay so that's why this is not a uh, valid function for the laplace transform so if we put s instead of s minus a into s minus s plus a then the value is with we see that then the value is equals to for a for a the value equals to uh, 1 by a so that is here 1 by a of 1 by s and for b this minus sign is represent for b and this is s plus a so 1 by a equal to common so this is ut or either 1 this is it to the power minus yes right 80 so this is a time domain expression okay again for different types of uh, another different types of function student please this is your homework say for this function this is also divided by in three part a by b a sorry a by s 
b by s plus a plus c by s plus b okay so what is the laplace transform inverse plus 1 by s square that is t everyone should be remembered that laplace transform over t to the power n there have an ideal formula this is an ideal formula okay n factorial divided by s to the power n plus 1 okay so this is very important to solve any ram function for order 2 3 or 4 okay and now there is another function sin omega t whose laplace transform equals to omega 0 divided by s square plus omega 0 square uh, uh, sorry the here this is yes right omega 0 and for cos omega 0 t the laplace transform is s divided by s square plus omega square okay and for sine hyperbolic omega 0 t and also for cos hyperbolic omega 0 t this function expressed these are this is a hyperbolic function this is also expressed by this expression s square okay this is uh, this is omega 0 square okay right now right okay, okay. this is s and this is omega 0 divided by s square minus omega square also this is also the sine hyperbolic and cos hyperbolic term and their laplace transform formation okay so now if uh, any function say this is represented by s square plus 16 so what is a laplace transform we express this equation by this equation okay so now this is s square plus omega 0 square so this is equivalent to this equation this equation so now here we added one four term common here so here four s square plus four square that is equal to one by four sine 40 okay so that's why we convert this inverse laplace transformation okay so there are different types of method apply in the inverse laplace transform method okay okay so this is the basic uh, lecture of inverse laplace transform inverse laplace transform in the next video we'll discuss about the advanced problem related, related to the inverse laplace transform okay